Cut Uncensored Truth right here on ISBC Truth Channel with your host, Pastor Michael Smith, and co host, Sister Smith Bay. Sister Smith Bay Bay. And if you are new to this channel, you just stumbled across this channel, if this is your first time here, stay a while. All you have to do is simply hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button is a bell. Hit that bell so you'll be notified when we drop this breaking news on you. Next to that, there is a like button. Hit that like button so we can stay lit. Hit that like button so we can stay lit. Next to that, don't forget, if you want to sign up to become an exclusive VIP member, just hit that blue join button. Next to the subscribe button, you get free t-shirts, free coffee mugs, and much, much more. Just hit that blue join button right there next to the subscribe button. Let's go ahead and get to this report. Go ahead, Sister Smith. Beautiful pregnant Chicago hitter Genesis uh, Escobar tries to carjack someone. Now she's gone. So, she's pregnant. When you're pregnant, you're supposed to be taking it easy. Because what you do affects your child. You out there carjacking while you pregnant. The adrenaline, the running, the hypertension, all of that affects the baby. Sister Smith, yes. what happened to back in the day, back in our day, when a woman or a girl was pregnant, they would take it easy. And the people around them would make sure they are taking it easy. Yes. That, that, yes, they they waited on mama's hand and foot. Exactly. They'd be like, wait a minute, don't do that. What about the baby? Right. You know what I'm saying? This was back in the day. This was back in our day, people. Back in our day. You know what I'm saying? We, you know what I'm saying, knew that whatever the pregnant woman does, it affects the baby. You wonder why now babies come out premature? Because look at the way the mama acts while she's pregnant. When you was pregnant, Sister Smith, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? You took it easy, right? Yes. Go ahead. Okay. A beautiful Chicago pregnant woman was uh, uh, G down after she allegedly you got that right. You got that right. I'm glad you used that letter. I'm glad you used that letter. A beautiful Chicago woman was G down. Go ahead. After she allegedly tried to rob a man, media takeout has learned. Police said that 21-year-old Genesis... Here's another 21-year-old. Another 21-year-old. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. A uh, 21-year-old Genesis Escobar is deep after being uh, asked while appearing to carjack a man mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in a notorious Chicago neighborhood on Monday afternoon. Chicago police said that Genesis Genesis ran down on the man's vehicle around 1 p.m. in a robbery attempt. She was inside of a car when she was asked in the shoulder, back and hand, police said. Genesis' body was then thrown out of the car and into intersection. People came to help her before police arrived, but it was too late. Help her for what? She should have been at home taking care of her belly. You know what I'm saying? And whoever got her pregnant shouldn't even have allowed her to be in the streets. You know what I'm saying? And you men, 
you men that run around and get these women pregnant and don't care about the women's welfare, being that the woman is pregnant with your child, you got the woman stressing. You got the woman, you know what I'm saying? All of this affects your child. But huh, this goes to show you that these men don't care. Because they are a product of the same thing. 21-year-old woman, her and her baby is pushing up daisies. Pushing up daisies, pushing up daisies. Hey, huh, uh, Sister Smith? Yeah. They got the wrong name for this woman. Right. <laughs> Her name is the beginning? Her name should be Revelations. <laughs> <laughs> Why they named her the beginning? You know, Genesis is the beginning, Revelations is the end. <laughs> Her name should have been called Revelations. Uh, Revelations, you know what I'm saying? G down. Did some dumb stuff and G down. What, what, what was you going to do with the car? What was you going to do with the car, sister? Like I said, Sister Smith, either these are some dummies children today. Wanting to joyride in other people's cars, or somebody is paying them to steal these cars. Yeah. Because they doing it too much and too often. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? They got to be taking these cars somewhere to get a cash reward. Uh -huh. Somebody somewhere got a chop shop. Somebody somewhere is paying these people some money. Because why would you take penitentiary chances to joyride in a car? Sister Smith, you said a couple of cars were stolen in, 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 in your building. Right. Yeah, they were stolen. Huh? They had the people here scared to park. Somebody is paying these individuals some money to do this. Because I don't see no other way that this pregnant, you know what I'm saying, 21-year-old with a baby, nine times out of ten, the baby's daddy don't care, and is not trying to support the baby. So this 21-year-old probably said, I got to get some money for some some food, some diapers, or I got to get some money, you know what I'm saying, uh, for a crib, you know what I'm saying, for my baby. So I know somebody who's going to pay me some money if I bring them a car. So let me go out and hijack this woman or this man for this car so I can go get a bag. But somebody's paying somebody. Somebody's paying these individuals for these cars. So, Chicago police, Atlanta police, police departments all over America, pay attention. Do crack down on these carjackings. Find out where these individuals is taking these cars to. When you find out where these individuals are taking these cars to, you have you have stopped carjackings in your community. You have stopped carjackings in your county. You have stopped carjackings in your state. Because if it's nobody to pay these individuals, they will not go and do these things. Right or wrong, Sister Smith? Right. If they're not getting paid to do it, they're not going to do it. Exactly. The same way, if they're not getting, if if selling dope didn't make them no money, you would not have dope dealers on the street. You see? But go ahead. Okay. Um. Genesis was taken to um. 
Advocate Illinois Masonic Medical Center, where she was pronounced D. A friend. Well, I know she was going to be pronounced D. Anybody go to a medical center called Masonic, <laughs> you, you, you better off D. Go ahead. A friend of the victim told CBS 2 the woman was seven months pregnant with her first child. With her first child, 21 years old, out in the streets, taking pen penitentiary chances and D chances. Either she was dumb in the mind or she felt that she needed, you know what I'm saying, to support her and her fatherless baby. So she knew of someone who was going to give her a bag if she gave them a car. Because that's the only way I can think of a 21-year-old, 7-month-old pregnant woman who would do something like this. Go ahead. Iris Alvarez, one of Genesis' friends, explained to the Chicago Sun-Times, when we got to the hospital, unfortunately, the baby was not able to be saved and passed away as well. Uh, we looked out the window and seen that the vehicle, someone opened the driver's door, walked around the vehicle, pulled the body out of and drove off, she said. Somebody opened, she, she said... Somebody opens the driver's door? Yep, and pull her body out. Oh, so she carjacked a individual with a passenger already in the car. Yeah. And that individual got out of the passenger side, walked around the car, and pulled her little slim butt out of the car. Well, she he must have did, the passenger must, I mean, the driver must have did something to her in the car, and then stopped, took her out, mm -hmm. sold off the side, and kept going. Yeah. But can you blame him? Can you blame him? No. It's, no. That car is not yours. Stop touching, stop desiring things that belong to somebody else. It's not yours. Don't touch it. Right. The Bible says, thou shall not steal. Right. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people say, well, the Bible also says, thou shall not, you know what? Yes, you're right. The Bible just says, thou shall not commit as you know what. Uh -huh. But if somebody is taking your stuff, you have the right to defend and protect your stuff. If somebody yeah. comes into your house unannounced, you have a right to defend and protect your house. This woman took to, took it upon herself to take something that didn't belong to her. And this is what happens. And this should be a lesson to all of you other young whippersnappers out there. You touch somebody's stuff, you can't have nobody to blame but yourself for the outcome of the situation. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Uh, I feel that for a person to do that to someone doesn't have a heart. Doesn't Never have a heart. Had it. Really? Really? Or does she have a heart for messing with somebody's stuff? Exactly. What are you talking about? I feel that for her being pregnant and seven months pregnant to go and take somebody else's stuff, where's her heart at? That's right. She should have been sitting her butt at home trying to care for her and her baby. Exactly, exactly. And if, if well, I can't. My baby daddy won't do nothing. Go to welfare. Yeah, that's right. Go down to welfare and put that man on child support, and that way welfare will give you a check. 
Do it the right way. If the man gave you a baby and they don't want to do nothing with the baby, don't want to take care of the baby, then you, it's, your, it's your job to care for your baby. Go down to welfare. You know what I'm saying? File the necessary paperwork. Tell the welfare people about your baby daddy. They will automatically put him on child support. And you got a check, you got food stamps, you got food, you know what I'm saying? And you also have housing. You Listen, you women got it good, got it better than the men. Why? Because the government will take care of you women before they take care of the men. You, you women go down to the welfare office, the government will take care of you before they take care of a man. So there's no excuse. Go ahead. Okay, that was it. All right, all right. I want to thank you all for it. What do you think about this, Mr. Man? Well, like I said, she should have been at home taking care of herself so she would have a healthy baby. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. You anyway. can't go around taking people's stuff and expect for nothing to happen. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You see what happened when those boys ran up in Gucci Man's house to try to take that chain. You know what I'm saying? They got their wig pushed back. All the way back. All the way across the street back. Mm -hmm. And Gucci Man got off of that case. Why? Because you cannot come into somebody else's property and think that you can do what you want to do. The man, the owner of their property, have the right to defend and protect their property. That's right. I want to thank you all for tuning in and logging on to another edition of ISBC Truth Channel. Right in ISBC Truth with your host, Pastor Michael Smith, and co-host. Sister Smith, baby. Sister Smith, baby. And if you are new to this channel, you just stumbled across the channel, if this is your first time here, stay a while. All you have to do is simply hit that subscribe button. Next to that subscribe button, it's a bell. Hit that bell so you can be notified when we drop this breaking news on you. Next to that, there is a like button. And don't forget, if you want to sign up to become an exclusive VIP member of this channel, you can do so by simply hitting that blue join button right there next to the subscribe button. By doing so, you get free t-shirts, free coffee mugs, just for joining up. So hit that blue join button today and sign up. Till next time, on to the next.